Hey guys, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I've been looking at the views and I am just like, bitch. So, um, I'm going to start with Capricorn because Capricorn has got some views. They do, they got some views, honey. Alright, and they've been doing good and uh, I need to never Usually, I'm the water signs are beating y'all. Cancer is up there too, but today Capricorn is doing it. Okay, um, Capricorn got some views. Cap and Cancer got views. So y'all are opposite, so uh, I know who's watching my videos now. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be using a different deck today. Um, I got a special one. It is called Let Us Tear It. Um, I'll have the link in the box. I know I should have put it in yesterday for the other videos, but I will put it in there today. Okay, and that deck is definitely fire. I will show it to you, but I'm kind of pressed. The sign. All right. Um, you can also check it out in the other videos. We want to see like a look at. All right, let's look at Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the end of August. End of August. Let's look. Okay, so let's look at Capricorn for the end of August. End of August for Capricorn. Uh, okay. Someone wants to offer someone a business contract. Could be about a love relationship. So, um, you could be meeting with someone that's in love with you or they feel giddy around you. It's a business, though. But, or some type of, con some type of arrangement. Because the Cupid card is about sex. It's about hookups. It's about romance. Not really romance in the sense of you being wooed away, but fuckboy shit. Someone's trying to get you to do something. Could be negative. Um, let's see. Yeah, a lot of cards to try to follow. What else began? Capricorn. Oh, secrets. Okay, so secret job. Let's see. Capricorn for the end of the month of August. The end of the month of August. Okay. Um, the rose. Okay, here's the romance card. So you, someone wants to have sex with you, but they secretly love you, or they secretly have deeper feelings than what they're telling you. Okay. Anything else for Capricorn? Okay, this one came out. Home. Did someone could be invited you to their house? Let's see. Anything else for Capricorn? In the audience. Okay, anything else for Capricorn? Okay, so these cards keep flipping around. I'm trying to get an accurate reading. Okay. The flowers. Okay, so someone definitely wants to invite you to a house with the flowers or give you a gift of a home. Some of y'all get it home. Broken mirror. Okay, so something is not right with the deal. What's the broken mirror doing here? Because that something seems too good to be true. What's the mirror? What's the mirror for Capricorn? End of August. So. Tower. This could be about a contractual agreement. I keep getting that for Aquarius and Aries and Leo. Real heavy. Some of you guys may have that in your chart. Okay, let's see. What's the tower? Oh enemy okay so this is definitely about blockage or someone trying to get in your way let's see what's underneath the enemy card for um cap capricorn okay so um the fox card someone could be spying on you this can also be about rats or gossip so this someone could be spreading bad gossip about you or someone could be um you could be spreading bad gossip about someone else um, yeah, I definitely feel the era of someone doing something mis mis ma maliciously. So that's going to come out that, um, someone you work with may have a crush on you and they have a secret love affair about you. And they may be an enemy and they may be spreading a lot of malicious gossip. Um, you may actually hear this at home. This person is close to your heart. Um, this person wants to give you gifts or adornment. Um, the, the secrets kind of shatter you for a minute. 
um, you basically, um, this person, again, they work with you. And you feel like this situation is very shifty and the gossip causes problems. This can also be about an agreement that you want to make with someone because you want to fuck them. And you want to bring them to your house and give them gifts. The secret is that you love the ass and you really want to romance them. But there may be some problems in your structure. Um, I do see problems or obstacles with getting your words across, bird. And you just keep running into stagnation or issues trying to be a deceptive person. That basically means that crime don't pay. And whatever you're trying to do deceptively, Capricorn, it's going to catch up with you pretty much. And they going to work. Someone's probably protected, like a password. Stability came out. You need stability. That goes for that tower. All right? Release and chemistry and put away the computer. Someone is on their computer way too much. They're too, way too into what their, their social media. Chemistry, someone feels some type of way about someone. Um, someone is way too much on the computer. They, they spend most of their time online. And they need to release that shit. Okay? You may be a computer freak. Like, you may be into computer. I get computer love. For friendship, you want to have a friendship with someone that maybe blossoms into something else. And this is the last card that fell out. Play hard and go hard. So someone is like, they want to play. Sorry, I'm a leg bitch, y'all. They want to play and go in pain. So if someone wants to have fun and they want to work with you. Um, interesting. Let's see. All right, so what's the play hard card? Eight, two, one. So if someone has not has yet to be upfront and honest with you about how they feel. They want to control you and give you an opinion. It's not that they're mean or a fucked up person. It's just that they think they know what's best for you. You could be eight to one. You want to affect somebody. You want to fuck the world. You may want fame or you want to fuck and hit and quit. Uh, five of wands and three of coins. You want to get somebody opportunity to get some money. So it seems like a prostitution situation. Somebody wants to pay somebody and they're not being upfront and honest about it. What's stability? Uh, okay, so stability is five of swords. Someone wants to put distance between you and the situation. They feel like it's malicious. Uh, five of coins, they're, they're willing to be broke. <laughs> and nine of wands, they're going to protect themselves. So there's no stability in that relationship. If you're trying to buy someone sexually, they don't want to do it. They're not going to do it. They're going to probably cut you out. <laughs> Not saying that if it's, if it's not a sex worker, that is. Um, chemistry and put away the computer. Capricorn. Okay, so nine of cups here. Someone is bored. Someone from the four to nine of cups. They, they were searching for something, looking for something, introspection, and they found a materialistic wish that they could pretty much, uh, you know, attribute to. So someone wants something or they're desiring something. The two of cups and the ten of swords can be about a betrayal. Or they're smarting from betrayal, or they added to a betrayal. Uh, they're not forgiving someone. So a cuss can be about a relationship. Hmm. What's ten of swords? The king of coins. Okay, so what is the king of coins? What's the ten of swords and the king of coins? Okay, the lover. Okay, so the prince of wands. Someone is ready to move on quickly. Maybe a move. This person is not to be trusted with your heart. They they break commitments. They're not the Prince of Cups. I mean, to be honest with you. Um, by the way, my mom always told me if you hear somebody talk about you, your ear your, your itches and put in your ear. Um, heck, by the way, don't do it unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, so yeah, so if anybody talks bad about you, you lick your finger and stick it in your ear. Okay. Um, the Prince of Wands is um, about, yeah, someone that's not, they're not serious. They just fuck from person to person. The King of Swords, they have malicious ideas, they're controlling, and there's someone to watch out for. It could be Can uh, Capricorn Aquarius, could be another Capricorn, but it's a masculine person here. And the lovers could be Gemini. So someone wants to move into a relationship with someone that, what is the King of Swords? The Seven of Swords can fill out the deck. Someone wants to get someone a contract or some type of paperwork. Um, that's why they're the king of swords of earth. It's deceptive. 
seven of swords. Okay. All right, so six of cups could be an ex emperor. See, you got the Aries energy in there. It could be for an ex, someone like minded, maybe to join a group. And maybe the situation's not gonna get any better. Could be a little Scorpio or an Aries, but I definitely feel like someone, um, Six of Cups can be about um, someone that's living in the past. And Emperor can be about a person who's in control or in charge. And the Three of Cups can be about, honestly, a relationship where people have a like-mindedness. But it's not getting better or it's not a good relationship. Okay? So, um, Capricorn, I don't know what the fuck you out here doing. You had somebody that was spreading rumors about you and then... You want another relationship with another motherfucker? They don't want you because you want to use them up. Like, kind of shit going on in your love life. Um, that person that probably love you probably is a good idea. Let's see. All right, let's look. Let's see who is for the one that's interested in Capricorn. Let's see what your cards are. They flipped every which way. Okay, so someone feels like they can't keep up with Capricorn. They feel trapped in sword. And two of wands, they're making a decision on how to move forward. So that's how they feel about you, Capricorn. How do you feel about the person you love? They're going to be with. Um, death card. Someone that's stuck. King of Cups. Let's see, what else? Uh, Seven of Swords and Six of Cups, guys. So someone is definitely spying on someone, some doing something deceptive, watching someone from the past. Um, yeah, someone's watching a Scorpio, perhaps. Now, I see Scorpio twice, so you could be watching someone Scorpio or a Taurus. Someone is stuck. They don't want to change or do anything different. The King of Cups, you want to be liked and admired by this person. Um, you're in the king of your emotions, but you're watching this person or you're reminiscing about them. Let's see what Seven of Swords is about. Let's see. Okay, Nine of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups. Secrets and deception. Maybe you want to offer someone some money, but you're swindling them. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, you don't trust this person. Um, you want to end this person. The Princess of Swords and Nine of Wands, you want to put an end to something or someone will not back down. You could be dealing with a, an air a air sign. They won't leave you alone. They won't back down. They're just so so persistent of being with you. Um, could be, it could also be about a person who's trying to yield their sword, but they feel like they don't even have a chance with you. What do you feel about Capricorn? About the love life, your love life. Um, someone wants to get dig themselves out of the situation. The Prince of Coins. They're not interested in digging themselves out of a situation. Um, just not. You know, are they taking the low road? Maybe to hear about some secrets with the Queen of Swords. So if you're if you're an air sign. Capricorn is done with you. There's a secret that kind of ended your relationship to where they don't feel like they need to kind of rebuild with you at all. Um, let's see. Is there any love interest that Capricorn is interested in? Okay. The Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So someone, um, either you're not taking appreciation for someone's generosity, Capricorn, could be another Capricorn, or someone is a gold digger, or someone is broke. You want to offer someone money with strings attached? Uh, what's the Six of Pentacles? Okay, so Two of Coins could be about business opportunities. The Devil can be about someone trying to juggle or budget. Um, again, it's got to do with something, some type of offer. Watching someone or secrets about someone. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems like you're um, trying to gain information about someone. And you're using otherworldly means to do so. Here's that five principles. You're trying to get yourself out of a situation. Yeah, you're trying to offer a sub situation to someone. But you're only sticking yourself, King of Cups. 
you're sticking yourself into a situation the other person you're trying to trap isn't going to get trapped if you're going to get trapped um anything else for a capricorn your love life and what you want people that you want not people that want you oh shit all these cards kind of flew Okay, Ace of Coins and Eight of Swords. You don't know how to gain things jumping off the ground. It could be a business ship, business partnership, sowing seeds. You feel trapped in a business partnership. Uh, the star in the Five of Wands, a reconciliation opportunity, a new beginning for you. Um, the death card and the King of Cups. Maybe you're trying to transition spiritually and you feel like you have addiction problems. Man, I'm not the body to shade them. Um, the Witch and the Two of Swords and the King of Swords. You want to use magic or you want to uh, use your uh, spiritual or personal power. It's a very hard decision because you are the King of Swords. Um, you are a mean, malicious person. Capricorn could be dealing with Aquarius or you dealing with someone that's mean, malicious, or controlling. Could be, again, another Capricorn, Four Principles. You want to give someone some money. Um, the Emperor is about someone, again, I was a control freak. Um, justice could be about a Libra. Uh, wanting to get even with a situation that kind of leaves you uneven or unbalanced. Five of Cups can be about healing. The King of Wands can be about a person who belongs to someone else or they're very indoctrinizing or patronizing. Two of Wands about making a decision. Princess of Wands about listening to people's opinions and Nine of Wands about being protective. So you could be very protective of people's opinions. About someone gossiping about you could be a Libra gossiping about you could be an Aries gossiping about you. But you def or a Scorpio, but you definitely feel protective. Like you want to protect yourself and get yourself out of a situation. Um, you are trying to find out if you want to work with someone in regards to this situation. Maybe you have what are you trying to accomplish? Capricorn into the month of August. What are you trying to accomplish? Okay, so two of wands, sitting on your own two feet, making your own opinions. That's good. Anything else? Um, you're trying to be famous. Maybe Princess of Wands about a situation that needs to be tended to, a mix up or a delay. Maybe you're trying to find completion in love, maybe. That's the lovers in the world. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, you're single. You don't trust anyone with your money or trust anyone, period. You want a new beginning from this type of situation, but you feel like you can't move on interferences from being in love so definitely a change of heart um maybe you didn't want love before and now you do okay so make sure you make the right decisions for yourself capricorn and i will see you at the end of at the beginning of september all right guys thank you so much for joining me and you have a nice day bye